Hello friends, Heidi here from Rain Country. God is good all the time. Well today should be a pretty quick video and I'm just going to show you how I ferment garlic and explain why. Now last year I did a video about fermenting garlic but I didn't actually show the process, I just talked about it. And so today I'm actually going to show you, it's super easy and um, let's get to it. Alright, so right, now, right here I have a bunch of garlic um, this is the first of my harvest. I have so much more to go through, but I think I'm just going to do two pint jars this year um, And the rest I'll just you know dry let it hang or whatever But I just got done peeling this much and filled up this pint size jar and so um, All I'm gonna do is add about oh Maybe about a half a teaspoon of the Redmond real salt Again, my favorite salt. I keep saying that and then I'm going to put about an eighth cup, because this is a pint sized jar, all I need is an eighth cup, but I'm going to go ahead and put maybe a little better than an eighth cup of, so this is closer to a quarter cup, of my blueberry fermentation starter this time, because it was real bubbly when I checked on it, which is good because the blueberry has been one of the slowest ones to really get that way. And I've had this sitting in the refrigerator for quite a while, and uh, it's it's pretty bubbly. This smells really good too. So there's that. And now all I need to do is get my filtered rainwater and top off my jar. And then I'm going to put a Tatler Canyon lid on there. I still need to clean it off. You know, off the name. I don't do this anymore. I don't write right on the lids anymore because these ones are too hard to clean. I actually use tape on it now, which I should have done from the beginning. And then I put the lid on tight just to kind of shake everything about. Now loosen it just a bit so that some air can escape, the gases can escape as it's fermenting. And in three days, this should be good and bubbly. I'm going to just leave it on my counter and then I'm going to store it in the refrigerator. Now, a few things about the about fermenting garlic and why I like to do this is that this is a way that I can have already peeled garlic ready to go that's going to last me all year long. This will not spoil. Once it's good and fermented, I store it in the refrigerator and, um, and again, it's ready to go. I just take a little bit out, a little bit out as I need it and uh, it, it's just a really great way and of course the fermenting process is going to make it just a little more healthy for you. However, it does take away some of the strong fl garlic flavor so which I really like but I do like the convenience of having this handy like this now too. some things you're going to want to know about this is that the longer it sits in your refrigerator the more the color is going to change so don't be alarmed when you come across some pieces in there here that will turn completely teal or turquoise blue and I used to have a picture of it that I took years ago when I first started doing this and if I can find that, I'll insert it here, but I, I couldn't find it last time I looked. Um, but anyway, that's normal. It's just part of the chemical process of, the, of fermenting garlic. And it's really kind of interesting. In fact, it's kind of pretty, I think. So we'll let it sit for three days and we'll see how it turns out. And just it's just another really good way to preserve garlic. And, you know, if you've got the patience to stand there and peel a whole bunch at a time, at least it's done you got it behind you so when you're ready to pull it out and cut it up it's just right there and uh really good stuff okay so i hope you enjoyed this video and that you learned something new thanks for watching take care and god bless